so I figured I'd uh, do some documenting on this bike build and uh, it's probably like the 20th bike build I've done this one here is it's a 76 CR 125M um, I figured I'd you know take videos of it and stuff you know I talk about my bike builds a lot to people and a lot of people say they want to see stuff and ask questions about it so I figure you know I'll just do this build and video the whole thing um, I didn't think about making a video it's already tore down um, I've already got the top end off and the bottom end is I'm draining the oil and cleaning it up before I break it down but uh, I'll go ahead and show you what stage the bike is now and uh, We'll go from there. So that's what the bike looks at, like right now. It's completely tore down. Uh, once I go through the motor and uh, top end, the jug looked good. Uh, had a lot of crap in it. But once I completely go through it and make sure everything's good in it, I'm going to finish tearing this bike down to the frame pressure wash everything make sure the frame is sound start putting everything back together replacing stuff as it needs replaced as I put it back together all right here's the bottom end draining at the moment um, I took the side case off of the stator side of it and as you can see the bottom end has had a lot of moisture that's a lot of rust but I did check for fire Pulled the plug out, uh, just set it up against, up here would be where the top end would be, set it up against the jug and uh, kicked it. And I did get good sparks, so I know the stator's alright. Um, this housing's a little frayed out, but the wires inside are in good shape. Probably just throw some black tape on that. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll probably just finish cleaning up the case and stuff. I mean, it's pretty really dirty um, and uh, that'll probably be it for tonight and tomorrow I'll start tearing the actual case apart and uh, probably won't do a whole lot of talking just because I don't know what to say um, you know if I once I get it open if I see anything important I'll point it out and you know talk about it and stuff and um, also, I'll go through each gear and make sure the gears are good. Uh, everything will have its own spacer, you know, um, we'll just go through that. And, uh, over here is your clutch housing. Inside there's all your clutches and your clutch basket and stuff. We'll go through that and, yeah. I'll show you the, the top end, the jug, and the actual head itself. They're in really good shape for their age all right so here's the top end um, here's the head if I can get it off with one hand all right that's in really good shape I mean all I did was wipe it out there's the rag hmm, you can see the old toilet seat in the mirror that's funny anyway um, so yeah here's the uh, here's the the head itself it's in good shape there's still some crap down there in the threads but we'll get to that later oh shit crap sorry about the language um so i don't know how well you can see that cylinder i mean it's it's not scarred up there's a little bit of like soot build up on it um i've got a uh, honing tool i'm gonna hone that out uh not gonna do very much at all just because i mean it's it's not scarred it's just got like you can't even feel it it's mostly just the look of it I don't like uh, I just don't like it not being all shiny and pretty but it's in really good shape um, everything's really good on it you might be able to get a better view yeah see it's it's just like I don't, I don't know like set build up Nothing major though. I mean, this is the intake side of it. Uh, 
where it gets its air and fuel. Um, looks pretty clean in there. Exhaust side. Obviously, you know what that is. It's nice and clean in there. Um, yeah, I was, uh, whenever I took that top end off, I was definitely expecting it to be, just be garbage. I mean, it's a 76 model, you know? But, it was taken care of. I mean, they didn't trash it, so that's good. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's the build so far. I'm sorry I didn't video any of the teardown. Uh, like I say, I didn't even think about it until I already had it all apart. So, like it, like the video, uh, comment if you want to know anything. Um, like I say, I'm sorry I didn't video the, the teardown, but I didn't, I didn't think about it. Alright guys, so, we left off yesterday with tearing the, uh, bottom end down after you know i wake up and stuff was just gonna finish cleaning it up um i didn't really clean it a whole lot it's still pretty dirty uh just kind of hit the spots that i was gonna take apart today in this video um today we're gonna take the uh clutch case off and check out the clutches and see how everything looks in there and let me know what kind of length of time to run these videos because I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm trying to keep them short but it's hard to pack that kind of knowledge in just a couple of minutes um, this isn't really a, a how-to or a tutorial this is more so uh, just me doing it and showing you guys how I do it um, if there's something you want to know you can ask me in the comments or whatever. I'll I'll let you know to the best of my ability. Um, but I'll show you the uh, case. Uh, I already broke all the screws loose. All right, so here's the uh, clutch case. Like I say, I've already got all the screws loose. They're all screws, every single one of them. And that's the entire case. They're all screws. All right, and uh, I've already got it kind of cracked open. I haven't opened it all the way yet. I'll take the rest of these screws out. Let's get back in focus. Come on. There we go. Um, let's see, I've already got it cracked open. Um, yeah, well, I'll take all the screws out and uh, yeah. All right, so I've taken all the screws out except for this one, this one, and this one. This video is going to help me put those three ex back exactly where they came out of. So this this one right here is right by the clutch cable holder. This one here is directly below it. And this one here is below the Kickstarter. Alright, the significance of those is that they're all longer than all the rest of them. So those three need to go exactly back where they were, or else these may not have the length to thread in to where this is threading to. So we're going to make sure that those three go right back where they belong. All right, guys, so we got that housing off. Uh, this right here is your clutch basket. Um, there's all your clutches right there. In between each clutch you'll have a spacer here's your actual starting cog runs up underneath your clutches and stuff and here is your cog for your crank Move your piston all right <clears throat> so there's a series of shiza in here can you see that that's actually part of your shift linkage right there changes gears and stuff which moves different clutches up and down but to be honest with you everything in here looks pretty good i don't see any wear uh i don't see any water that's what i was worried about the most uh there is just a, a little bit of moisture can you see that little dot right there that's actually water inside the oil um 
but overall it's in pretty good shape um i'm not really going to do a whole whole lot to it now that i've i've seen it i'm just going to clean it up really uh i thought there was going to be a lot more wear and tear and stuff in it than what there is but everything seems to move pretty smooth which tells me that there's no bad bearings um can't hear any rubbing other than the piston rubbing right there but yeah um everything looks pretty good uh i don't know how well you can see it in the video i hope you see it pretty good um so that's where we're at right now i'm gonna clean it all up and it'll be about zero seconds your time next time you see it it'll be all clean it'll probably be about four hours for me but all right guys we'll we'll get back after it all right guys i figured i'd, I'd point this out to you because <clears throat> i'm sure there's somebody out there that uh they thought the uh the shaft for their kickstarter had broken off inside the case because every time they kicked it nothing happened all right, you see this right here? This little cylinder with the, the flat spots on it? This right here is a centrifugal clutch. When you kick it, this comes out. All right, let me, let me put this back together really quick so you can see it. All right, so you have this wide spacer right here. If you look at it, the hole is bigger than this hole. This one's got a lot more surface area. All right, so this spacer right here goes down over this sleeve right here all right and then you have your cog which sits against this cog but if you look underneath of it it's got little grooves in it right and they're cylindrical grooves which match the teeth right here you see those two little teeth right there here's one and here's one whenever you kick it that will come out and engage on those teeth which in turn will turn your cog it's hard to do this with one hand guys bear with me all right so whenever you kick it that's what happens you have that centrifugal clutch in there that'll open up and bite onto this cog which turns your motor over if that clutch goes out it won't do anything so a lot of people will think that this is broke but really when you take the clutch case off and pull this off that clutch down in there is bad replace that clutch for 20 30 bucks versus tearing the whole case apart pulling this out replacing bearings all that other crap it's no fun easiest way to do it is to look at that first if that's all right then yeah yeah it is a shaft but if it's not it's just that clutch and then this spacer they all look like washers but really they're spacers um everything's got to fit perfectly that one went just like that all right so let me take this back off i just thought that that would be something to mention um if you guys don't like little details like that i won't keep doing it um <clears throat> this is my first video as far as that's concerned um i've never videoed it and had any words to say about it i've just kind of done it um but yeah we'll uh finish cleaning this thing up uh i don't know if i'll take the clutch basket off or not that's kind of a lot of work and everything looks good uh if i decide to do it i'll video it if not i'm sorry guys if you want to see it just let me know i'll do it just to let you guys see it all right guys so i got it all back together uh cleaned it up um i really didn't take a whole lot apart just because it's in it's in pretty good shape i mean it's not really like like wore out or the clutches look pretty good um i didn't take the clutches apart just because i really don't feel a need to i mean this thing is in good shape um yeah, I hope you guys like the uh, little tip I gave you about this gear right here on your Kickstarter. Um, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't really feel the need to take the clutches out. Um, I just kind of turned it on its side, let all the oil drain in here. 
there was like one or two little water droplets. So uh, th that leads me to believe that on the stator side, the, the gasket just broke or was wore out and it was getting moisture because I really didn't see a whole lot of water in the oil or in this side of the case anyway. So I think I'm just going to fill it up with oil, run it for a second or two, and, uh, well, probably a minute or two, drain that oil, put some new oil in it, run it, drain it, just do that three or four times, uh, just, just to be sure that there's nothing in it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this side back together, and I'll make another video of cleaning up the stator side. We'll take a stator out of it, that way we can get that whole side of the case and uh we'll clean it up i'm not i'm not gonna bother splitting it i was going to i had every intention on it but after i saw this i mean that's an oil port there's another oil port right there uh and there's probably two or three underneath the clutches so whatever oil was in here is also in here whatever moisture was in here is also in here so you know, based on how much I saw, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to tear it all the way down. It's in good shape. Uh, just flush the oil a few times. That'll get rid of any water, if any, is left inside here. So, uh, this video is getting pretty long. I hope you guys watch it all the way through. I know it's mostly just me talking. There wasn't a whole lot of fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> but... You know, this is this is kind of how it goes with, with this stuff, you know. I mean, sometimes you open them up and you're in for a big surprise and you got to tear it completely apart, replace bearings, replace cogs, replace sh whole shafts sometimes. In this case, we got lucky. You ain't got to do all that. So, all right, guys. Uh, I'll go ahead and upload this and hope you guys like it. Later. All right, guys, I just wanted to uh, point something out. All right, um, obviously this is a piston, but you see this little black dot right there? That comes down. That is for the orientation of your piston ring up here. You also have one right there. Um, again... That right there is for the orientation of your piston ring. Alright, so you want to make sure that your rings are lined up before you put your head back on, which is what I'm about to do. We got the head back on. One thing to note is you have to make sure you lube that cylinder before you try to put that piston in there. Um, once it's in there, just run it up and down by hand make sure everything's in good shape so it's pretty hard to turn so i know it's it's got uh, a good seal on it the rings are all right um i don't hear any scraping that's one thing you want to listen for is scraping when your piston comes up and down it's rolling up and down nice and smooth so we know we got everything good all right, now we'll put the head on. We got the jug on. We'll probably go ahead and just put it back on the bike and uh, fire it up, see how she runs. Then we'll take it all back apart and clean it up. Um, but yeah, that's where we are so far. All right, guys, she's all put back together. We'll, uh, we'll put it back on the bike and um, I don't know if I'll do it tonight or tomorrow. If I do it tonight, I'll, I'll video it and post it up. I mean, this was a, a pretty quick build. I mean, <laughs> it was in a lot better shape than I thought it was. I just put oil in it and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll put it all back together and see if she'll run. And, uh. I was thinking about painting it. Give me some ideas on how to paint it. But uh, I'm going to pull a little magic trick here really quick. And poof, there she be. That's a pretty cool magic trick, huh? Alright guys, I'm going to go eat something.